while the rest of Face Clan starting their approach, and they'll push in a Paranoia, sorry, a Smoke to deny vision from the long side. Look at the flank from Wardell. He's gonna get caught by a tripwire. We'll see if Face Clan double back. They do, but the action has already started on the site. Baby Bay with the first opening frag. Sees a couple down in the sewer, then he'll back away as Sabrosa will trade things out with Zachary. But Face Clan have already made their way onto the site. Down One in the sewers enemy. is where TSM is being held up, and it's all yeah. down to Wardell, who's doubled back from the flank, but it's planted for long. Now they're starting to hop through, and Baby Bay goes vertical, but does he have enough time? They do not TSM by enough time to win the first pistol. We see one barely sneak in towards the doors. At least Hayes is going to know that there are no flanks because that's what he's holding on to. Drone using the run it back to plant the spike. And now the pikes, the time's ticking. But Zachary's surprising Cutler is psych. He's going to be the one doing the surprising. The 3v4 retake phase clan are on the site. <laughs> Trying to get some positioning because they're trying to hold off the, the, the offense of TSM. Baby Bay's gonna drop at the hands of Wardell as he continues to hold things down from that sewers path. Faceclan has personnel on the site. One oh, but there's a, a ton of options. Mark drops as well. Corey, the last one there, tries sneaking. Oh. It really has no choice but drops. Especially for those late round diffuses we already hear the empress pop no and he is some very committed to standard execute paranoia off the side but mark has his own paranoia right out the entryway but One still base clan are keeping tsm at bay mark with two baby bay with a second the spray down the color doesn't left. pan out but guess who's wrapping around from behind it's corey the mid-round flank wrapping all really not look towards that side in this fast rush on the eco they're hoping for some success at least yeah, but it's going to be tough trading at least initially. You see Baby Bay has already gotten a pick. The members of FaZe Clan are going to be rotating over from the middle of the map. As TSM have fully invested onto this a site, Haste and Sabrosa, Sabrosa, excuse me, are able to get one apiece as Cutler joins in as well. The spike is going to go down like after planted. all of the chaos initially. TSM has a personnel <sighs> advantage. Of course, as I say that Haze drops, it's going to be a 2v2. Zachary up above, he's going to be looking to work with Corey here. Corey just trying to clear the other angles that are necessary for him. Oh, what a great shot with Sabrosa with that even better. Now it's down to the 1v1. Cutler against Zachary Cutler in a really interesting position. He's wrapping around the box. That's going to be the cage as well that benefits Zachary. Now the defuse starts to come through, but the stinger, it's unstoppable if you as best as they can. Zachary has to hold the line here. Shot's going to be good. There's the running back, and that's Sabrosa down. Spike is out of commission. There's the quick camera. That's the communication, but Cutler still opens up with the pick. Rockets from range is going to find two with the Hunter's Fury, but he just tags them down. Corey with the flank. We always knew that he was going to be there, and now it's the 3v3 retake. Corey drops, but not before taking Cutler. It's going to drop things down to a 2v2. Both members of TSM are certainly weaker. Baby Bay opting to use the Blade Storm here. And again, the spike continues to tick down. Drone on the flank here. Tags one up and then backs away as the spike begins to start defusing. Hayes gets a big kill through the smoke, but it's going to get traded out. Rock is down to 47 health and is running out of time. He knows where Drone is, but there's just not a ton of options. He is able to get him, but can he stick the defuse? He's going to have time. He's going to have plenty of time. What a great round from face plant. Tate over. It looks like they might be able to planted. From the same side. You see the spike has gone down. Oh, baby bay. Gets spotted by that dart. That's going to give away his position. It looks like they're both still pretty comfortable working their way through garage. Meanwhile, TSM has sent Cutler down C long. And he's going to have that Hunter Fury as well. That's such a, a good position to be in because even if Wardell loses control of the site, he has that ultimate to keep the Diffuse at bay. Wardell's in a little bit of trouble here. Shot's going to be good from Zachary. He at least finds one for the trade, but now here comes the Hunter Fury. There's still 13 to 12 seconds left. He's got to stick the Diffuse. We'll see if Cutler reads that correctly. A narrow angle. Finds the pick there onto Sabrosa, who was already relatively weak. TSM hitting this late round A hit in the mid round. Spike about to be planted. Base plan, they're nearby. They may not even let this go down. Wardell is going to get the spike down. Baby Bay drops. I, I think, again, I feel like every time we watch Drone, he's pulling off a kill like that. He has a knack for these things. But for now, TSM have the numbers advantage. Face Clan trying to fight for this retake here. You see Corey starting to reposition as they consider how do they get in. Zachary spots one. Drone gets tagged up a bit. That's certainly going to help as Wardell and Drone both drop. 
TSM just down to two members left, but the clock continues to tick away. Corey gets a big one. It's going to drop things down to one. It's just going to be Haze. Haze, known for heroics in situations like this, is not going to be able to deliver. Zachary gets the best of the phase aggressively working your way. Right. I mean, it's the eco. You either hit the gas or you make your teammate, you make your opponents win, right? And right now in base clan, they're hitting the gas. TSM just have better weapons. They have. They also read it correctly. They stack three. But Hayes is the only one here on the site. Wardell is certainly close as he's hanging out in garage. There's about to be an engagement go down between him and Corey as it looks like TSM are able to stop things early on. Hayes is able to get one. Wardell is going to get traded out. Hayes still trying to hold the fort, but it's not him. It's Wardell, or it's Sub Rosa, excuse me, who takes care of Zachary. Rock still has that operator as part of the equation. TSM have a one person lead here. Yeah, Wardell left. is looking towards the entryway, trying to support Hayes. Right. Doesn't anticipate Corey coming through. So now that's going to be a great shot from Sabroza. Again. All down to Rockus with the op here. Does he want to save it again? I don't think so. It's a 1v3. It's doable, but not very likely for Rockus. Cutler will take that one down. And TSM. As the smoke is going to come out, it looks like Face Clan certainly want to go over towards A. The Empress has been used. Thrown in this angle. He's able to get one. Ooh. Dash right back out. Some fancy footwork from Baby Bay as he gets the kill on the drone as well. Rosa in a tough 50 as well. He's got the Empress as well. Oh my goodness, he doesn't find the second. Baby Bay trades out Corey. 3v2 retake in favor Spike planted. of FaZe Clan. Off pass to Haze. As Wardell may Still want those sucks. knives to come through. Here comes the paranoia, and there's gonna be two. Wardell dropping down. Oh, that's two for Wardell. One more! Give it to him! Wardell takes down TSM. He a 5v5 retake. Wardell's gonna be late to the party, but better late than never. Spike about to be planted. Let's see how they're gonna deal with this. Early engagement goes to the way of Hayes. That's Corey down. A duelist out of commission. This is doable for TSM. Yeah, it is, because at this point, they have control of Garage. They have different options on how they want to apply pressure to the site. That's going to force FaZe Clan to back off into that sea long Jokes area. Over. There is Good no pick. Hunter's Fury for them to be able to stop things from a distance. Baby Bay still has to stay on the site. You see that paranoia come out. Hayes able to take care of Baby Bay as he works his way on as well. They've got smokes. They have cover. But the spike is planted. One and a Hayes here. But my gosh, TSM, they're just able to pick oh, them apart. Rockus is the last one, so Rosa <laughs> is going to drop. Rockus with the second. He gets oh. a third, but it's not enough. Drone gets the best of them, and the spike is diffused. TSM on match point. Fast moving. It's going to be quick. We'll see if Cutler and Drone can stop this heavy push. Uh, Dart's going to give away the positioning, and Drone's going to be the first one there to hold the line. Give him three! Holy cow, the snap was filthy! Drone eventually does drop, but the damage has been done. Faze Clan just down to two members left. The spike is going to work its way onto A. The Empress is there to keep things interesting. But TSM are going to have to fight for the defuse here. They're going to have to fight for the Spike planted. It's also match point. We're forgetting that that is probably the most important part of Sabrosa. Going to take out Marv. It's all down to Corey. I like how he pushes into the smoke. The paranoia, he doesn't have a lot of information off of it. So sitting in the smoke is going to buy him some time, but he needs more than just time. He needs that sixth player in the lobby to help him out. Oh, a quick flick onto Hayes. Unsuccessful. Wardell up in heaven, but he smoked off temporarily. And Corey Spike is already landed. positioned up on the truck, and the shot misses from Wardell. It just barely tags Corey, and he'll survive. Three members remain for TSM. There is a late round position for Rockus. He's wrapping around from the defender spawn. That's going to be Drone. He takes down Zachary. 3v4. The spike's still oh. ticking, and unfortunately, Rockus does not anticipate Cutler's big brain. Shot's gonna be good for Mordell. This is doable, but the time is ticking. Another one onto Corey. It's all down to Marv, but that spike is ticking. Cutler, Mordell. Shot's gonna be good onto Mordell. All down to Cutler as the spike continues to tick. There's the recon bolt, and for some reason, it goes into the portal, and it's gonna be a clean headshot for Marv. Maze Clan win the gun round. Oh, that he's there. Spray coming out from Drone. Oh, oh wow. but Zachary from the opposite side. Or sorry, from Hookah. He's just right behind Corey. And now they'll start to funnel and you'll see the tailwind come through. Drone's going to stop him with the Frenzy. That's Spike down. 3v3. Drone in a good spot. The Frenzy finds another. And now it's a 2v2. A little bit more doable now that the Spike is still Dying down. Rockus trying to peek through. Sabrosa will be taken down. And it's all up to Haste. He's got a Bucky. And unfortunately, what? Haste!
This B's side cutler is going to get plenty of info early on. Yeah, it looks like some of the positioning was given away. Wardell gets the best of Corey, and he had, he had just used that showstopper. Wardell ripped it right out of his hands. I like this play from TSM. Wardell peeking down long and then partnered with the Hunter's Fury. It pushes FaZe Clan back. Now, it's up to this crossfire set up by Sabroza and Hayes. We've seen some FaZe Clan members push up through showers, but it's mostly been this hot and heavy short push. They paranoia into lamps, then they just rush lamps, but Sabrosa's gonna be the first line here. A good smoke as well to stop, but they have to push through it. Sabrosa is ready for it. He does get traded, and Hayes with financial situation. FaZe Clan here with a five round Enemy lead kill. looking nice. for something up a but aggressive posturing from wardell gives him an early hit no man wardell wardell he may be the one with ice in his veins can he find another he can wardell through lamps three That's on the round it's down to two members marv will be taken down by hayes it's all up to zachary there's the off on the ground but so is zachary sabrosa with the head B realizing that there's nobody around fountains, nothing aggressive in hookah, and then all of the cues from FaZe on A to let him know that that's, that that's exactly where the play is gonna be. What? Faith, be Faith. What? Hazed. <laughs> what? Joke's what, over. What? Yeah, we'll get a replay of that just to see what's going on. We'll look at the retake now. FaZe Clan, they've got a little bit of the lead, but it might be t torn apart here momentarily. There's the showstopper from Sabrosa. He's not even gonna get to throw it as Corey. We'll snipe him out out of the air before he even goes aerial. It's all down to drone and color. Make it drone, make it drone, make it drone. He's making it rain. Down to the 2v2. Baby Bay's going up. He's going dunking as he slammed. B. Bay's pushing their way into Hookah. Baby Bay has managed to get himself a Phantom. That's huge. I don't even know who's defending or who's attacking anymore. There's three FaZe Clan members coming from Fountain and Short. How is that even possible? How is this happening? TSM are down to two. They've got members from FaZe Clan moving in from all possible angles. There's the Hookah members. They've arrived. The host, the great phase. At least we'll find a couple of frags. What? It's all down to Marv. I thought the pinch was totally going to work out for FaZe Clan, but drone here. Shots from Corey don't land. Let's see now as they start to funnel through. Oh, that's a face. Full of showstopper. Hayes gonna find one. Sabrosa with another. Ezeko slightly falling apart. Baby Bay will fall next as he trades out drone. And it's a 2v4 retake for Face Clan with a couple of sheriffs. Don't anticipate a lot to be done here, but this will put TSM up by two as Zachary, last man standing. Just trying to do some damage as he gets chipped away through the cage. I have to say. I think this is like the first time we may have seen just TSM right out, right out the rip, go straight towards this B site. I wonder if FaZe Clan... They bring out some of that, like, stereo traditional FaZe aggression and it up. catches TSM off guard. This is actually a great round to start here for TSM and now, yep, that's a definitely a great round to start. They find an early pick in showers as they're trying to answer back for some of those antics from FaZe Clan. They've got relative control of the A site, but the firefights are starting to be traded out back and forth. Now it's a 2v2. Corey just keeps the dream alive and he tucks back into the vent. The 2v2, still a possibility, but there's always that portal play. Hop in, they go. And now off to the B site, Face Clan slow moving over there. This is likely going to be a difficult spot as, as TSM are getting that spike down. Yeah, and TSM can get the spike down and spike then you can, Color can play off because he's got that Hunter's Fury, but for now he's kind of caught on the site. You see him, he's a sad, he's uh, managed, excuse me, to work his way back towards Octagon, towards safety and continues to get further away forcing FaZe into a spot where they're going to have to make a way forward. They're the ones who are going to have to create some real estate. Drone spots one through the box, not able to take him out. Good bit of damage done, but man, that shock dart oh. hurts, and the rifle finish things, finishes things off. This FaZe has to go aggressive here. They can't just play for the defuse again because of that Hunter's Fury. Oh, is able to get two. Over at B, two of the members from FaZe are staying on this A site. Oh, Marv. He stops the push from A short of Zachary here. Some of that action going towards the A site. Cutler, he's got the spike and he's got to get it down as Corey is prepared to portal through and wrap around from behind. Spike's being planted, but Corey is waiting for a portal Spike play. Planted. He's waiting for information from his team. Baby Bay needed that pick in order to find success. There's the portal play from Corey. Spike's planted in Tetris. 
but it's not it's planted for showers and they're playing for a short baby bay hops down into sight wardell's on the run and he's gonna swap over i think to the rifle 3v3 retake for face clan all kind of caught in this U-Haul area. Hayes is able to take care of Corey. However, there was that flank that we were One talking about. It's no longer a factor. Hayes with the 4K baby bay trying to stick oh, it, but the yeah. shock dart from Cutler. Oh yeah, from the scuttle shack. And now that just gives him so much space to funnel up through heaven. There is going to be Corey there as the first responder alongside Zachary. This eco so far working out, but it boils left. down to this A hit. They're starting to funnel in. Corey with one, but he does get traded all down to Zachary. He wow. gets taken down by Hayes, and this eco is slipping away from face clan. TSM up by three. Or rather, have three members up against the two. Spike planted. Spike's planted. Retake for face clan. Do they save these weapons or do they fight? Into now the upgraded weapons no for TSM. Left. That's just a difficult spot to be in. I believe Rockus still has that operator. Yes, he does. He's going to get a chance on the drone. He's going to get the best of him. This slowly, but certainly starts tipping things to more of an even playing field. Marv going in aggressively. Going to get a chance at a player at TSM just on the other side of the smoke. And nice. freaking A, they did it. They were able to take out the defenses of TSM. And it looks like they're going to get the defuse off as well. Face take the lead. Good re Here's some of those footsteps. There's the red carpet. Drone's gonna get in there trying to pair the CC together. Phase is gonna start to fall apart. That's two down. Baby Bay answers back. That's gonna be the Molotov that's thrown down. And he's gonna go back to the mail room and he's gonna hopefully hold this angle. Marv will fall. 3v2 for TSM. Rock is on site. Baby Bay answers back now to 2v2 with Wardell alongside Drone. They'll back away. Spike in hand. 16 seconds left. They have to force the issue. Drone One needs to help Odell out here. Ten Shots could be close left. for Baby Bay as Drone tries to find him from range. But all they need to do is time things out. I like the execution from TSM, but FaZe Clan hold on. Yeah, that was a really good hold. And again, there was plenty of CC. There was a, a couple of ultimates. Mm -hmm. backs away, and now it's going to be the B side. Relatively open season, but Baby Bay is in the back of sight. Flash on, but TSM are still coming in. Oh, Baby left. Bay, that was big. He was able to get one, got traded out, however, but that bought some time for FaZe to rotate over. They weren't able to get onto the site. However, as we see Rockus from up in heaven with the operator, he's got a chance at something here. Here. FaZe, this is certainly a, this is certainly doable. TSM has the showstopper to work with as well. Now we're starting to see them slowly creep their way forward as they get more and more real estate. There's that showstopper we were just talking about. The operator shot goes just a bit wide as oh. Rosa with the 4K is able to keep FaZe Clan at bay. It's just Rockets who's alive now and he's not around for long. Wardell finishes him off. TSL, everything is exposed. How does he get that shot, that running shot, so well done? Now the spike's being planted. Here comes the showstopper, though. They flashed him out. It could be a double or triple for Baby Bay. It's just going to be the one. Two members for TSM remain back sight. And it's Cutler, of course, will also fall. A solid retake for FaZe Clan. I liked how that developed for TSM. You even saw Marv. He used to run it back at towards B. Oh, Rockus. Rockus on the other side of Smokey. He's able to get one, but he doesn't realize there's everybody on the other side as well. Oh, man. This eco is really working out for TSM. Drone with the Vandal as they push in. Wardell gets a lot of space. There's a paranoia from B main that catches Marv off guard. Now it's a 4v2 retake. Guess what? On the opposite side, Zachary, you got a Bucky. Oh, it's a shot missed from Wardell. Zachary will find it. 3v2 as the spike continues to tick. The Empress was used as well. No other op, no other ultimate is going to be in the fold here. I like the positioning from TSM. FaZe is going to have to make something special happen here. They're all pushing it from the same side. The curveball comes out. Zachary gets taken out. Corey is able to trade it. Repositions. Gets things down to a 1v2. It just doesn't have a ton of options. He's guessing to see, make sure nobody's going to be pinching it from behind him. But he's got to go. He's going to have to bust the move. He's going to have to do it here soon. Spots one is able to take care of Drone, however, as he snaps on him. He's going for the defuse, but he had to pull off. Sub Rosa goes around. He takes care of him. They're going to be coming in from the attacking side. From the defending oh. side, excuse me. Yes, yes, for the defending side. Well, they're starting to run through. There's a player down there in the corner, back there in the corner. It's Wardell. He's not able to find a single pick. As the spike goes down, a solid round here Spike for FaZe. They wrap around a strange round 
I'm going to be honest. As they funnel all the way around, seconds or so is what remains on the clock. As Face Clan are slow moving onto this A site, Drone is going to fall. 30 seconds. Cutler left. and Wardell are likely going to wait for the rest of the team to answer back, but Corey and Marth have been waiting and working the lurk. Haze is down. Now Marth comes back from screens. And he's gonna find Wardell. This is falling apart for TSM You're in amazing. every worst possible wow. way. Phase almost on the flawless as they dissect TSM and will sit at map point. On it was just so much patience that we saw from from both of these squads, really, right? Like all of the noise that Phase raised around A, TSM sat patiently. They waited over on B. Phase had a couple of players over there as well. It was like waiting to. It was like playing chicken to see who was gonna bite first who's gonna over rotate first uh and for for phase they were just able to get the best of tsm aggressively now the smokes are gonna drop baby bay is gonna get that show stopper and there it is he doesn't have any satchel charges to boost his way across though but that is just gonna buy time tsm's just down to two members left the neural theft is there as well phase clan surely just looking to put this round away and put the Spike map planted. away as well. TSM, they're going to have to pull out some deep heroics to keep this thing going. Come on, let's go! They do have to run it back, and that's exactly what's going to be used. Now they start to come through. That's one for Drone, but he does get traded. But the clone is rather going to get traded. Cutler with another. Okay, now it's a 2v2. Things a little bit more doable. And there's injured members from Base Clan. They have to work as a team. One player down below. It's all down to Corey. 1v2, playing down below. Drone gonna drop, shot's not gonna be good, and Drone with the 3K, TSM will stay alive. Oh man, that look, there's that curveball. Waiting for the wall to go up, very slow moving. 30 seconds Death left. ball from FaZe Clan, suppose it goes in with the showstopper, oh. able to get one, Marv rips him out of the sky. As FaZe Clan are in at 3v3, they're gonna drop, however, oh. as Corey's taken out TSM. Again, they Five still have the Lone Thunder, they have the from the shadows as well. They're in a position of power. Off your feet! No more charges. Zachary yet. has to survive as Marv was thinking about lurking up through the stairs. Now, as that's a player that is unfortunately stunned up by the Rolling Thunder, it's the aftershock with Wardell helping him out. Now they know where Marv is located. Back in the alleyway, running back comes through and likely going to be taken down by the judge. No, it's not. Oh my goodness, that was close. As now Marv can work and push forward. Flash comes through, but Hayes is sticking it. Shot's gonna be good. Sees the shoulder. You also have to understand that this is the eco. If Baby Bay gets into a smoke. Wardell's gonna get up close and personal. Takes him down with the bulldog. Repositions, closes the door. Sight. And once again, the push from Face Glen does not work out. We've got Marv coming in all the way up through the defender spawn. He's gonna meet and lock eyes with Drone, who will back away as well. The rest of the team up in the middle here for Face. Clean. There's Cutler wrapping around to help Drone with that angle. Now the rest of FaZe will work up through the middle. I mean, this is not a round that we tend to expect FaZe Clan to come out on top, specifically since TSM won that eco. Um, but down, being down two and TSM at five definitely decreases those odds. 30 seconds Survival left. Here. Yeah, considerably, really. FaZe don't have a ton of options. They work their way through tree. They find out the door's closed as well. They just kind of guessing at this point then the problem is it's not like they have a ton of time to work with left. either if there are heroics that are going to happen it's going to be on the a side but wardell's bulldog continues to bite cutler gets in on it as well to the market and b main respectively 30 seconds drone left. will be back site cutler's about to find marv as he's up on the ledge there now he's going to be looking for safety wardell's going to be coming in from the heaven side but oh wow marv just barely narrowly misses that goes in drops the paranoia as marv just looking for what he can find. Yeah, that's certainly going to hurt Drone. You'll feel that in the morning. You see the smokes coming out as Corey's going to plant right in that. But the hunter three from Cutler. The spike does go down. And he's not going to get a kill. FaZe have a shot at this here, Simo. V2. Marv not working back sight. You think he's going to be patiently waiting, but guess who's got the angle? It's Wardell. Down to Corey. Shock dart. Not going to tag him out. He's got to mow them all down. But when Wardell... And of course, the camera is Zachary's. That's the running back. Guess who's posted up there? It's Corey. Off shot's going to take down the cloner now. It's a 3v3 retake. This is going to be a little tough. And of course, the Empress has been popped. Bonus tag. Wardell's coming in from the opposite side. And he has the Blade Storm, so he wants to move in fast and move in heavy. But the shot on the dome will seal his fate. Now, Joel pushes in. Shotgun will stop him. That's another player down. It's a 2v2. Make it a 2v1. 
as it's all down to Hayes. There's a player backside and one behind the double box. Shot's gonna be good onto one. One more player. He knows where he is. Ring around the Rosies. What's the, gonna be the name of the game? But he sees those toes. He sees those heads. He sees those shots. Hayes will clutch things out for team. Folks, now the drone is gonna be there at the tip of the spear as they try to work their way on. But who else? But drone waiting on the other side. He's got the curveball. Oh man, baby base gonna get pushed back. I like that smoke, but the Roomba's there too. He just has no choice. There's just oh. a utility everywhere. Baby Bay drops. Zachary does as well. Phase just down to three. And Hayes teleports back site, trying to help them, trying to support them. And of course, they respect the showstopper as well. But Sabrosa's looking to get active. And he goes, but unfortunately, it's going to run dry. We already see Corey working up the middle while Face Clan are still here. They're still around this E lobby area. That's going to be the first peak for Marv. That spike down, TSM can play around this. Yeah, it's just, it is, just got so much harder for FaZe having dropped that spike there. Corey able to get one. Oh, Rockus gets in on it as well. Drop things down through 3v2, still in favor of TSM. 30 seconds left. Corey looking for more, checking those corner spots. One realizes there's a second one there, so they have some info on where members of TSM are. It's going to give them a little bit more room to work with. Corey repositioning, not able to get the best of drone. Clean shots onto him. Rockus left alone with 13 seconds left. And with that spike being planted, you see Wardell, he tries to go up through the window. Those bars aren't going to hold him. The recon bolt will tag Rockus. Now TSM will lead by six. I have the phase I have three ultimates to work with here. But my gosh, there's so much aggression from TSM. They can smell blood in the water. Wardell is going to trade one out on this A side aggression. Baby Bay goes in. He almost loses that fight to Hayes. Down to 89. He's going to find another, but Cutler is going to find so much value. It's down to the two. But they're using the runner back to find even more as Sabrosa takes down Rockus. It's all down to Baby Bay. 80 HP with 10 armor. Has a lot of utility. S smokes out the Wazoo. Updraft, Tailwind, Bladestorm. It's got the whole toolkit. And he fixed this round. And he has time. I think it's probably the most valuable resource here because he can choose to play things out so many different ways. He can wait, see if TSM rotates off. He can go ahead and rotate off. He just has plenty to work with. Also, as you mentioned, has that blade storm in his back pocket. But so far, Baby Bay opting to wait this one out. TSM have not rotated off. And it's not like they have a, a ton of info. What TSM is doing is they understand they have the personnel advantage. So even if Baby Bay does bolt over and plant now, they're comfortable playing for the retake. Baby Bay stuck around. Drone was able to get the best guns to work with this time around. But Wardell with the operator gets the best of Baby Bay yet again. And this is an aggressive look of the B main hold. And he manages to get out alive with the support of Drone and Sabrosa. Whatever utility was thrown their way, they still managed to survive. In the meantime, Marv has made his way up through the middle. There's Wine Cellar and A main control. And now the Owl Drone is going to be used to scout things out here for Cutler. Doesn't see anyone in the Wine Cellar. Doesn't see anyone in A main. Yes, I'm still holding on to this B site. Marv has gotten quite deep, though. Can he find some lurking frags? Yeah, Marv has the opportunity really to be devastating here with his positioning, but he's going to get spotted. But they, they, FaZe continue to get possibilities, right? Like, they continue to get set up in a position where they may make something happen, but TSM just, just reads it, and they stop it before it becomes a problem. They hear that? I wonder. Zachary just trying to be as quiet as possible. FaZe kind of got their way onto the A side. It was after that Owl drone that Cutler felt safe to pull back a little bit. Zachary is just trying to be a problem on the B-side. Spike, Spike planted. planted. Get out of my way. And Corey is now going to hold the line from the Heaven side. I don't think they're going to anticipate this. The 4v3 retake. Hayes is in a unique position as well. And now they'll see one jump through. It's Corey, drone in a good spot to hold the line here as well. Now look one who's Hayes. He's coming from behind. Rockus as well. And who's late to the party? It's Zachary. Here. He needs to get here quick. TSM are going to funnel onto the site. No, he's, he's got the operator, but he's going to get smoked off. And he's going to get burned at the crisp. Just down to 45 health. Has no choice but to go in. And he's met. Okay, he's on the defensive side. It's a big pick. We understand that TSM's not going to have much artillery to work with. But Zachary with the Vandal. Able to take care of things early on. 
phase slowly gaining more of the map as well. You see him pushing through mid. They're going to be boxing in members of TSM. Rockets with the 3k. That's it. They've got to make something happen here. TSM looking to play aggressively as they try to put the finishing touches oh, on this. And oh, oh my goodness, the run it back is devastating. So Bros is able to get one as well. Face Clan just down to three. Things falling apart here for FaZe. Rockus, Baby Bay, and Corey. Spike Two players from spawn, one player from market. Sabros has got no the more. angle on one, but the shot's gonna be good. Now it's a 4v3, a little bit more doable as they inch their way closer onto the site. Wardell back site. Two players be main, but it's traded with Hayes. He's playing behind the boathouse. One player remains, it's Baby Bay. 1v2. Owl drone spots him out. Wardell knows the shot's not gonna connect. Now the classic. Time is ticking for Baby Bay. There goes Wardell. The shots are gonna be good. Baby Bay takes him down. It's all up to Cutler. Knives go through. Spike is ticking. We hear the jet voice line. Cutler finds one to jump up and down, but Cutler is buying time. There's the tailwind. Cutler! Oh my goodness, but there's no time left! TSM are not able to be taken Attack down on the scent. They defeat phase 13 to 3.